up guys, it's Van Ape here. I am very happy to bring this video to you guys because I've seen in as of late in the Pokemon community this video in particular is actually doing really really well and is quite popular. Say hello to my version of the Who Wants to Journey 2021 tag video. In case there are anybody who don't know the rules or want to get involved in this tag video, here are the rules that I've got just here. You're only allowed to have one Stars Pokemon on your team. You can only have one Pseudo Legendary on your team. You can't have any Legendaries or Mythicals. You're allowed to up, up to three Pokemon to rotate with. Give details of why you chose these Pokemon to have on your team. Choose which region you want to hail from. Talk about your profession or your goals in the Pokemon world. Talk about your rivals and companions. And then you have to tag five other people to do the video which I will say at the end. The original all um, creator of this video, I believe, goes by the name of Crasher. He, he thought it would be a fun um, video for everyone to make, and since no one has tagged me, because mainly po people in America have done it, and I'm not as popular over in the States, I thought I'd do my own version now. And just so people can make even more memes about me, I'm putting these on to stay focused. Those who have been around my channel for a while knows what this meme is. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this video. If you want on to do your own version of the video, leave it a link down to in the comments. If you ever have any video suggestions for the future, and also guys, if you have any, any like um, subscriber goal or ideas, because I have been wanting to do another subscriber goal video, but I don't know what video to do and what subscriber uh, that I want to set it to. So if you have any ideas, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with location. Now if you guys have been around on my channel for uh, quite a while, I'm sure you know which region I want to start in, but I bet you don't know what city I want to come from. Obviously I'm going to come from the Sinnoh region, no duh, but I am going to be hailing from Sunny Shore City because it is an amazing city. It's full all of technology. It's just an amazing city. And it's probably like one of the largest cities in the Sinnoh region of, of all. So, eh, might as well I'll come from Sunny Shore City. And now it's time to talk about my backstory. But I thought it'd be a bit boring to just uh, like stare at the camera with this plain ass background just talking about my backstory. We need to make this a bit more interesting. So, I'm going to make it that way. After witnessing the Wallace Cup, I got inspired by Wallace because not only was he a gym leader, but he was also the Hoenn champion and the top coordinator. And I wanted to do something that could surpass that. So, I decided to aim for a goal that no one has ever tried to achieve before. To beat either, either the champion in every single region. I started with Ed Chimcha and I defeated every single gym leader in my home region without losing a single Pokemon. Because since I focused on pure power, tight matchups and strategy. When I competed in the Sinnoh League, I won the whole thing. So I then decided to enter the Champion League. Which, if you didn't know, is where I can and then challenge the Elite Four and the Champion to see if I can become the new Champion. But unfortunately, I lost in my battle with Lucian, since the only Pokemon I had left was Infernape, and since he was a Psychic type user, Infernape didn't match up well with, against his Pokemon. After that, I wasn't sure what to do next, so I asked Professor Rowan for advice, and he recommended that I travel to the other regions, not only to train, but to enter the other Pokemon leagues, since he knew what my goal was. So I went to the other uh, Japan based regions. I made it to the, uh, in the top two of the Kanto League. I won the Orange Island Challenge. I won the Johto League, but I lost to Will in the Champion League. Then I won the Hoenn League and defeated all of the Elite Four. But Wallace defeated me without losing a single Pokemon. I then went into the Unova region and I won the Unova League as well, and as well as the Elite Four. But all the defeating me with his final Pokemon but only after losing the other five. In the Carlos League, I came second place in the, in the league because I wasn't able to use Mega Revolution at the time, and my opponent had a very powerful Mega Revolution. 
I then decided to take a vacation in the Lola and learnt about the island challenge, so I decided there's a stay and take part in it. I defeated all of the kahunas and took part in the final grand trial where I take on all of the kahunas as in one final battle, since at the time they didn't have a Pokemon League. I won, but I wasn't satisfied, so I went over to the Gala region where I met Leon and had a battle to decide who gets his title. We had a full battle which came down to our last Pokemon and I lost. But I told him what my goal is and that I really wanted to challenge him to another battle. So he told me about the World Coronation series. So I took part in it. So I could not only become the world's strongest trainer, but also the world's only Pokemon champion. Okay, now I'm gonna be talking about my team. Since I want to use the maximum um, like options possible, because I like to have as many options as I can when it comes to Pokemon, I'm going to be using the maximum number of 9 Pokemon. So, let's talk about them. Obviously, you know uh, which one I go am going to add to the team. That being Infernape. Infernape is my starter Pokemon. It is my favourite Pokemon of all time. And it is just an amazing powerhouse. We've journeyed through so much together and it is by far the strongest member on my team. My right, second Pokemon is going to be my pseudo-legendary Pokemon. That being Garchomp. Garchomp is by far the coolest pseudo-legendary Pokemon out there. It's very powerful and it's also gaining enough power because it has a Z move. That's right, I have every single Z crystal so I decided to pass it on to my Garchomp. Also for a further backstory, I actually have a Z-Crystal, a Power Band, and a Mega Stone, which means I can use all three at the same time, which can screw over quite a few people. My third Pokemon is Rotom Wash, because its electric and water type combo is definitely going to be hazardous against most people. Plus, it is just such a cool Pokemon as well. Definitely the strongest water electric type that has ever been created so far. Since the first three Pokemon were Pokemon that I picked up in the Sinnoh region, I'm going to be talking about Pokemon that I picked up in other regions. So the next Pokemon I'm going to be talking about is one that I picked up in the Carlos region. My fourth Pokemon, Aegislash. Aegislash is by far the coolest Pokemon that comes out in Generation 6. It's got an awesome design, amazing end type, and is just such a powerhouse. My fifth Pokemon is going to be one that I picked up in the Gala region, that being my Snorlax. But my Snorlax has the ability to Gigantamax. So if I find a power spot, I will be able to Gigantamax my Snorlax. So that way it will become G-Max Snorlax, and by far one of the coolest and strongest Pokemon ever. My sixth Pokemon is Gardevoir that I picked up in the Hoenn region, but my Gardevoir has the ability to Mega Evolve, becoming Mega Gardevoir. Gardevoir is just such an amazing Pokemon, and it's so powerful as well. Its Mega Evolution can easily put a hole in most teams. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about my three Rotate. And my three rotates are, well, number one is Dust Form Lycanroc. I love Dust Lycanroc, and I picked that bad boy up in, obviously, the Alola region. Dust Form Lycanroc has won me quite a few battles, and has cr crippled a lot of Pokemon in the past. My second rotation will be Weavile, which I also picked up from the Sinnoh region. Weavile is very powerful, very stealthy, and isn't afraid to uh, use underhanded tactics to get the job done. And my final old choice is Staraptor. I needed a flyer and Staraptor was by far the best choice. Plus Staraptor is such an amazing Pokemon. It's got very high speed, very high attack stats, and has crippled loads of people very, very quickly. Now this is the part where I usually talk about a traveling companion. But honestly, I don't think I would travel with anybody because I like doing things in my own way. And I feel like that would annoy other people I would be travelling with, so honestly, I don't think I would have one. As for my rivals, if I were to have rivals, say if they were non-anime characters, I would go with Dr. Amnesia, Demon Lord, and Meme Star. 
because I feel like they're the only non-anime character uh, people that I probably I would consider my equal because they are all very powerful Pokemon trainers. If I were to have rivals using only anime characters, I would go with Ash, well for obvious reasons, Wallace, again because I looked up to him and he was the reason and why I came up with my goal in the first place. Steven, because Steven is the champion that defeated Wallace and took his own title. And Leon, because Leon is the one who helped me got into the World Coronation series. I'm going to be tagging five people to do this video, but, or at least I want to see them do this video. But, I am going to be tagging three YouTubers that are not as popular in the community, but two are, that are really famous in the community, so that way I have a bit of mix and match. Alright. For the three non-famous YouTubers, I'm going with Azzy to be Master, Demon Lord, and Eno Gaming or Ino Gaming. I'm sorry if I've mis mispronounced the pronunciation. But for the two famous YouTubers, I'm going with MNG TV and Arizo. So if you are watching this video now, I am hoping to, honest to God that you make this video, because I would love to see your teams. And now it guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it, and be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of my version of my I own team. If you want me to make any more Pokemon themed videos in the future, let me know what uh, ones you want me to make. What, uh, if you're one of the people that I tag, be sure also let me know if you're going to do this video or not. And if any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. To be honest with you, I have no idea if either MNG TV or Ryzo are going to see this video and make it because, you know, they are extremely famous YouTubers in the Pokemon community. And I don't know if they have the time to go out of their way to look at a tiny YouTuber from the UK and make a team. But I hope the other three will see this video and make their own team because I would love to see them do this. Did you enjoy this video as much as I did making it? If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share the video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!